Right, so my name's Anton Hills, skipper of the Peganina, uh, and I take a lot of tourists fishing and they don't know how to prepare their fish, so a little demo on how to fillet your fish. First things first, a decent fillet and knife. Nice quality knife. It's worth paying a bit extra to so hold. It's easier to get a, get an edge on them than hold it, hold the edge, nice and sharp. And this is just a cheap oil stone. A little bit of three in one oil. Just a little bit on the stone, just like that. And all you want to do now. You, You'll fillet your knife a certain way to a certain angle. So pollocks are very similar fish to your cod and you fillet the same sort of way. You want to find a nice flat stable surface. And the way I fillet my fish is, insert the knife, fill the backbone just over the top, along to the tail. Point, use your thumb on the back of the knife and try and use long strokes. Knife in behind the gill. Now I choose not to gut my fish just to save time. Nice long strokes again. Now I leave this side of the fillet on, turn the fish over as it keeps its shape. Again. Here's through the skin, feeling the backbone, along the back of it, like so. And through again, long strokes. Finishing off along the bottom of the fish, just up across. Again, turn it over the other side again. Not too much wastage. Like I said, the belly and the guts, you don't eat that bit. And that's it. Not the best fillet, but you can trim it up. There you go. So pierce the skin, feeling for the backbone. Back along the backbone to the back of the fish. Long strokes with your thumb, finger on the on the blade. Back behind the gill. Put your thumb. Don't finish that fillet off, keep it there for the shape. Over the other side, again, pierce the skin, feeling for the backbone. And on the back, nice long strokes. Now like that, I've gone a little bit into the bone. Just try and slide them off if you can. It's not the end of the world. side. Alright, finally, trim the fish, all the fins. Just rinse them off in fresh water. You can freeze these or eat them fresh. We'll enjoy catching your fish and enjoy eating them as well.